Our next story broke today, but it actually began in September last year. That's when Kim Jong-un visited Russia. He met Vladimir Putin there, held talks with him, also got a tour of a satellite launch center. Later, Putin showed off his limousine to Kim, the Russian Aorus. Take a look. Looks like Kim Jong-un liked it. Maybe that's why Putin decided to gift him one. That's right. Kim has received an Aorus limousine from Putin. It was delivered by Russian officials over the weekend. Kim's sister thanked Putin for the gift. She said it's a sign of their special personal relationship. Let's tell you about the car now. Aorus was founded in 2018. Putin wanted his own line of luxury cars made in Russia for Russia. Thus, Aorus was born. This limousine is called the Senat. Gearheads will tell you it looks like a Rolls Royce. And yes, there is a similarity. The Senat is more than five meters long. It weighs around 2,700 kilograms. It's the same model that Putin uses for his official trips. But that one weighs a bit more. You see, Putin has made some modifications to his car. His Aorus Senat has a bulletproof armor. Reinforced glass, bomb-resistant floors, integrated offensive systems, self-contained oxygen supply, and a secure communication line. It's a car-slash-tank. We don't know if Kim's gift has the same modifications. If not, trust him to add those, because the North Korean leader loves cars, especially the luxury ones. On most days, you will see Kim in his Mercedes Maybach Pullman Guard. It costs more than $1 million. In 2018, he was spotted in a black Rolls Royce. The same year, he bought two Maybach S600 guard cars. So long story short, Rocket Man is also a petrol head. Between 2015 and 2017, he imported 800 luxury cars. So you can imagine his collection. Just one problem, though. You can't sell luxury cars to North Korea. The United Nations has sanctioned them for the nuclear program. Russia is also supposed to follow that, to uphold those sanctions. So this gift is a legal gray area. But clearly, Vladimir Putin does not mind. Reports say North Korea has shipped a lot of artillery to Russia to be used in the war against Ukraine. Reports also say Putin may visit Pyongyang soon. Now, that would be huge because North Korea is not on most diplomatic bucket lists. But like I said, Putin doesn't mind. Let's keep the politics aside, though. Let's focus on gifts. World leaders do exchange things when they meet. Sometimes it's a cultural item, sometimes it's a personal gift, and sometimes it's just plain strange. Just ask former U.S. President George Bush. In 2003, Argentina gifted him 300 pounds of raw lamb meat. 300 pounds of it. Why? Even the archives do not know. But animals, dead or alive, are top picks. Former French president, Francois Hollande, got a camel. It was Mali's way of thanking him. Of course, the LSE palace could not tie it to the front yard, so the camel was given to a family in Mali. Guess what they did? Killed it, cooked it, and ate it. The Russian president has also received animals as gifts. In 2017, he got a puppy from Turkmenistan. Take a look at this. <laughs> Usually gifting has a rule, don't make it about yourself, make it about the other person. But the UK royal family has missed the memo. In 2021, Britain hosted the G7 summit. The late Queen Elizabeth met US President Joe Biden and guess what she gifted him? A picture of herself. Her grandson, Prince Harry, did the same. He gifted pictures of himself to many U.S. officials, including Barack Obama in 2015. I'm hoping it's some confusing royal tradition, because if not, it's plain weird. Now, diplomatic gifting is different from normal gifting. Here, there's politics involved. Like in 2009, when Hillary Clinton gifted Russia a big red button, it said reset in Russian. At least that's what the U.S. government thought. Russian officials pointed out it did not say reset, it said overloaded. Safe to say that gift did not work. So I guess the lesson is quite simple. You can't use gifts to reset or revive your bad relations. It can only make a good relationship better. 
not a bad relationship good. Let's see how Putin's car performs on that metric.